Well, Lord, Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for tonight. We want to thank you for this amazing venue. Lucas and Nicole did an amazing job picking it out. There's just so much love here. There's so much peace here in regards to love. You guys, I just ask that you become completely vulnerable to each other. And God will help you do that. And to have the open communication. I think the most difficult thing that you're ever going to go through is the trials and the tribulations. But if you can talk through that, you can actually use those tough times as lessons to create a deeper, more profound love than ever before. In regards to joy, Lord, I ask that you bless them with laughter. It's a fun ride and allow them to enjoy the ride. Allow them to laugh and just enjoy each other's company. It has been quite the journey already, and it's incredible to think that this is just the beginning. You have stayed by my side, supporting me through all of the ups and downs, my indecision, and even when we took time apart. You are my strong but quiet sidekick that offers advice, strength, and you are always there to build me up. In a room full of people, I tend to be the extrovert, the attention seeker, and yet you provide the strength and security. You have become my best friend. You have allowed me to be the daddy for Gizmo, and you have become the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I promise to lock the doors at night, drive you to the airport, listen attentively to your long rants about work, and offer my chest for you to lay on it even when your hair is wet and I'll always do my best to make you feel how I feel which is that you are the most beautiful girl in the room. I vow to keep God in my heart to keep us connected and protected. You have seen the best and the worst of me and you have loved me through it. I promise to do the same for you. Well, here we are. After all the planning and preparing, the day has come. Lucas and Nicole are becoming husband and wife. Today, you are making a double covenant. Your first covenant is with God, to put him first in all you do, and making him the priority and center of your lives so that he may make you his instruments to accomplish his purposes in your lives, in your marriage, and in your family. Your second covenant is with each other, to honor and keep the vows you're about to make for the remaining years of your lives. Lucas, all you have to do at the end of this is say, I will. Will you have Nicole to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's word and holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, 
honor her and keep her in the good times and in the times of trials, forsaking all others and being faithful to her so long as you both will live. I will. Nicole, all you have to say is I will as well. Will you have Lucas to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's word in holy matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in the good times and in times of trials? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. I will. Beautiful. Now we will celebrate the joining together of your families by lighting the unity candle. As you join together, let the flame created light your path forward in happiness and harmonious union. Babe, my entire adult life, I spent so much time creating a safe place to call mine, a home. I thought I had it all figured out. I had no intentions on letting anyone in to disrupt that. Shortly after meeting you, I realized how much of that I was quickly changing. I wanted life's biggest steps and experiences to be done with you. Lucas, when I think of who you are to me, it's simple. You are my safe place, my balance, and my home. You truly are my best friend who I tell everything to, even when you probably rather not hear every single detail. You push me to be comfortable with being uncomfortable in order to be the better version of myself. Meeting my family and seeing how quickly you fit in confirmed how I felt. But having you meet my grandpa hours before he passed away, I felt he was telling me you're the one. And he held on knowing he wanted to meet you before he passed. I promise to always support you and to comp continue pushing you to grow to call you out when you're being stubborn, but to also be better about not always saying, where did you hear that from? I'm gonna research it. We will go through trials and tribulations, but I promise to put our love and our faith before all and work through things together. I promise to be the faith you need when you may not have it on your own. I promise to love you forever. The rings are symbols of your covenant with each other. Lucas and Nicole, as you exchange these rings, the correct response in this moment is, I do. Lucas, do you give this ring as a symbol of your love for Nicole, your covenant to be her husband and to be faithful to her and as a reminder of God's presence in her life? I do. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I did it last. It's too fast last time. Boom. There you go. Nicole, do you give this ring as a symbol of your love for Lucas, your covenant to be his wife and to be faithful to him and as a reminder of God's presence in his life? I do, but you have to wear this, not a tattoo on your finger. Good clarification. I now pronounce you husband and wife, no longer two, but one in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Our dreams come alive.
Nicole, you didn't at first like this young man sitting next to you. You kind of questioned who this guy was and whether you were really interested in him or not. Am I correct? All right. And somehow through watching a video or Facebook, I think it was in our Italian family wedding when we're all cooking together and dancing together and having fun, somehow that opened your heart a little bit more. And then you were willing to kind of experiment a little bit. Thank you for loving our son. As you have done, with all of his wonderful traits and accepting his flaws. Luke's has been blessed to have you in his life and we feel blessed to have you join our family. If you will, please raise your glasses to Nicole and Lucas and wish them a lifelong journey with love, happiness, and adventure. Here comes the real thing. Hey, I'm pulling up and you feel the wave. They see me coming a mile away. Islands and problems are there, but islands is doing you pay. I'm a savage. I see a Louis and Gucci, I grab it. Do it like we'll be your islands and have it. Drip it and up in the sink while I'm touching your plate like a savage. Oh.
real thing. Nicole, take you, Lucas. I, Lucas, take you, Nicole, to be, be my, my wedded, wedded husband, beautiful wife. To have happen and to hold from, from this day forward, forward in times are good and in times of trial. To love and to, and to cherish according to God's word, I promise you my love and I give you my heart forever. forever.